Let's get right into it, folks. It rained yesterday, so we couldn't do a darn thing out here. I, they were calling for rain today. It was 70% chance. Uh, they didn't let us down. They were pretty correct. They should have moved up maybe to 90. <laughs> because uh, Heather and I started this morning. It was not supposed to rain until around 1 o'clock today, I guess. Uh, but anyways, Heather and I got this done here. Um, we worked about 5 hours today on it. Now this isn't that high here. I put in another pipe as well in here. So there's two of them. No window here because I'm thinking that's going to be filled up all the way to the corner anyway. So I'm not going to be able to see out there. Here though, we're almost halfway filled on this on this form. This section from here around to there. That's the last little stretch until we build more forms. But uh, that's how it's looking. Not too shabby. It's already starting to get hard in there. So, we worked at that today. We got we started around 8 o'clock, I guess, and we got finished around about 3 o'clock when it started to rain, and we had to go get the turkeys and chickens some more feed. That's what we did today. So, yeah, one pipe here, one pipe a little higher. I will build be building boxes anyways around them and I can run my small pipes up upstairs of the house if I have to so uh, not too bad I guess um, this is all setting up nicely I had to move my grease gun over here too these rocks seem to be uh, setting hard there's no getting those rocks out now they're they're stuck in there pretty darn good so we are done uh, the four feet high all the way around to there, that large rock sitting up there. And from here around there, we're just about two feet high. Heather and I put in, well, since eight o'clock till three. So seven hours today we did that for seven hours. Yeah, that was a bit. And uh, one good rain we had here open that drain up and it took all the water down that used to have water in there before just a little wee bit in there put some clay washed in there and it was plugging the top of the tile see we didn't bury that yet because once this is all done in here I can finish my drain from there down I didn't want to put my drain in here and be running over it all the time with with uh, the tractor uh, and rocks and gravel and whatnot I didn't want to squish that uh, tile so, so what we got left for gravel, we have this little pile here, and then we have this pile here, hoping we have enough to do it. I'm unsure though, should be pretty close to finishing it with what we have here. The rocks, that's what we have left for rocks now. We're going to easily have enough rocks to finish it, easily. Yeah, the rocks is not a concern. The gravel, hmm. That's a bit of a concern. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough, but I'm going to I'm going to see what I can do. We'll see where it is at the end. I've, I'm at. We've went through just about 20 bags already since we started this project, so it's going to be around 40 bags to do this whole basement. 40 bags of concrete, maybe a little more. So maybe looking about 45. That's that's pretty close to what the guy guesstimated where we got the concrete when I told him the size. Told them I'd probably be going half and half rocks and the rest concrete. So he figured it out and he figured we would need, I think he figured around 50 bags. But that, he figured a little more I think, but I didn't, we didn't subtract the openings that we had here. That's the thing. Now the reason I don't want a window there is because all this is going to come down and it's going to go against there and from the corner here, of the house right here it's going to line up with the boat here so if I go down here you'll see where I mean now I'm going to bury those tile in the ground maybe not this year and maybe be next year for my uh, heating and cooling that may be something I dig out later but I want it to run from here straight up with the corner that's it I want all that pushed down to the corner 
If we go up here, you'll see what the view is like. It's starting to rain again. We'll sp sprinkle more than anything, but that, but it turns to rain real quick. Fortunately, the water gets away though real fast. So when I'm standing up here, let me see here. This is a bank too that's got to go. That's that's a fairly high bank. I'm climbing up now. So that's about where I'm looking down from here now. Now, if I went up a little higher, my feet would be up here, I guess, right here. That would be about the height. That's actually probably higher than the top of the walls right now. So, uh, yeah. That's, it's, it's looking good, I think. I'm, I'm quite happy. We still have a month or more before we get snow. This is September. We have all of September. And we probably have all of October and maybe all of November even. Some years it doesn't snow till mid-December. So we're still doing good, you know. <laughs> These guys. <laughs> I brought, we brought food home and I gave them some fresh, fresh food there. And now they're uh, thinking I'd give them more. I think they would just constantly eat if they could. So uh, that's, that's this, that's how it's looking the bird's eye view so to speak that dog over there he's got his eye on a groundhog that plays over there by the sawmill he doesn't bother it but he likes watching it he's just uh he's just intrigued by it turkeys must need some gravel to uh help digest their food <laughs> maybe that's where all my gravel's going maybe it's not going in the wall well I guess uh, another month or so we'll have all our gravel back, if you know what I mean. It's starting to rain. I did want a window there, I really did, but you know what? If I have to, I'll just put my little chair right over there and my table, and we can sit there and we can look out the window and see down over there. Not a big deal. Anyways, that's what we're up to today. Just wanted to give you a little heads up on this what's going on we started we got that much done and then it started to rain and I had to quit right now I'm standing right here I'm out I'm probably uh, I'm probably about six feet above the floor right now seven feet above the floor that'd be six feet that'd be about six feet right now yeah about six feet and they're coming down here looking for that's clean water. We don't dump concrete in there or cement powder or anything. It gets spread out by the tractor out, out there in that hole out there. But they love, they love coming in and getting some, uh, getting some uh, water and some gravel for their crop. Should give you a little uh, tour of what the garden is like too out here. I haven't had a chance to mow the grass this weekend. I feel bad. Usually every Sunday. I mow it down around the crosses and uh, I mow all this grass but I haven't got to it yet it's just been rain and when it wasn't raining we're trying to accomplish something with the basement that's Heather's second crop of lettuce and I think those are radishes maybe I think not too sure I think she picked the peppers off here she just picked some more tomatoes too she put in another few seeds of uh, peas, but I don't think we're going to get much off of it, even if we do wrap this with plastic. The carrots are getting large. The lemon balm is slowly dying back. If you folks know, let me know if that'll come back next year, that lemon balm, or if it's something we have to plant every year. I really wish it would come back every year. Her sunflowers, well, they're starting to droop over. You can see what they're like here. They're 14 feet high, these. 14 feet high these guys and I don't think they're the jumbos I think they're just the normal but uh, I could be wrong on that yeah these ones fell over too um popping corn I've never checked it she she grew some this year I think we just might have some kernels in there not too shabby never growing it before but Heather tried it this year and they seem to be doing quite well. Oh, she's got some more. Oh, look at that zucchini in there. Do you see that? I don't know if she's seen it before. She must have seen it, but that's a uh, quite a large one. Look at that. 
Let me see here. Do you see that? Can I get this out of the way here? Look at the size of that one. My hand is, it's hard to tell, but my hand's that big. And it's pretty huge in there. <laughs> yeah, it's taken over the, I never noticed it. Well, we've been so busy, she's probably not noticed it either. Um, good news too with my plums that I planted this year. They're all coming back. Look at that. That one did good. That one's doing okay. This one here I didn't think was going to do so good. It's putting out new growth. This one has new growth as well. So I think next year they should be just fine. I keep pushing this stuff all back and the chickens and turkeys just keep dragging that old straw back out. <laughs> oh well, that's the way it is I guess. Eh? See they're, they're following me now thinking I have special food for them but I gave them their food already but they're still looking for more. <laughs> oh boy. It's got to be just about time things start to die. Like things are slowing down. Like you can see the tomatoes here, they're starting to get some uh, dry leaves on them so I think they've just about run their course I would imagine so things are going to slow down we do want to uh, build our greenhouse and hopefully next year or the year after we want to get at it build our greenhouse this year it won't happen that tomato grew right out there Look at that we have we have like for the growing season we have up here we can grow a fair bit for the length of season we have. Now that fire, I don't know if it's true or not. Now you leave, you tell me what you think, you think folks, with all the fires we have up here, uh, I was told that our trees should grow amazingly now with all the carbon in the air. Because you know, trees take in carbon and they give off oxygen. The more carbon they have, I guess, the more they grow. So I guess uh, since we're having a lot of carbon deposited in the air up here from those fires, I guess things are supposed to grow good. Yeah, so I'm probably rambling, but I wanted to give you folks a little update on what was going on around here. We did down that turkey. We made it into sausage, and it was good, but you folks are right. The folks that told me there to use more fat in there, you're right, it was a little dry. The honey garlic turned out better. I really, I really appreciate the helpful hints you guys give us on that because it's been so, so long since I did anything like that, grinding meat. It's good. You folks give us, give us little tips like that and hints. We really appreciate it. We don't think you guys are being rude at all. We really appreciate it. Now these are some hascaps or honeyberries. I sure hope they take off. That's the latest one we got. The last one we got a while back. And that's one and yes it did not open up the root mass on that and I should have I thought of it after somebody mentioned it but I didn't do it I was a little dumb on that one but well I'm human right I'm human and uh, anyways I guess that's about it folks uh, I will let you go and we'll talk at you tomorrow if it's not raining too hard tomorrow we're going to go at the concrete again again I did not do any videos of doing the concrete today because, I mean, how many times you have to see us carrying pails and mixing concrete, right? So I'll give you daily updates on what's going on if we do any more on it. And I'm looking here, we're going to have a lot of partridge around here because that's what these partridges eat. They come around and eat these right here off these trees, off the tag alders. They love those tag alder buds. So we'll have a, we'll have a whole bunch of partridge wandering around here again this year. <laughs> so... Okay, well, I'm rambling, folks, and it's starting to rain pretty good out here. So, again, so you folks take care, and we'll talk to you another time. Bye-bye.